Hello everybody, I'm Kyle from the VVox customer support team and today I'm going to be giving you a quick run through on how to get started with the VVox PowerPoint add-in. So you've opened a brand new PowerPoint or an existing PowerPoint file and you're wanting to add VVox to it. This is easily done. To get VVox, head to home, click add-ins, click get more add-ins down here and search for VVox. Click add and then once you've clicked add you'll see the insert poll button appear over here. Once you click the insert poll button you'll see that it opens up the VVox task pane on the right hand side. From here you're going to want to log in with your VVox login credentials. Once you've logged in all of your sessions will be available for you to select. Select the one that you would like to add the polls from. If you have no content in your session, you'll see that your session has no content will appear on the right hand side here. This isn't a problem, what you can do here is click create poll and this will take you to the VVox dashboard where you are able to create your polls. Now that we've added our polls to our VVox session, we can then add them to our PowerPoint by clicking the green add button on the right hand side. Before I add the polls, I'm going to add the joining instructions so that everybody is able to get into the session, either by scanning the QR code or entering the session ID at vvox.app. So I've added the joining instructions, I now will add my questions. So by clicking add, what it will do is it will add the polling slide and it will also add the results slide. So the polling slide is what's going to prompt vvox to open the poll, which will then appear on the participant app. And the results slide is what's going to prompt VVox to show the results to the participants and also show the results on the PowerPoint add-in itself. So what I've added here is a word cloud poll. So what this will do is when running through, this is going to open up with the question. And then once the poll is closed, it will then show the word cloud graphic. I will now add a multiple choice question, which as you can imagine, it is the same as within the VVox dashboard if you've used that before. It's just some bar charts that, depending on how many people click, it will then move them along the percentage that the people click them. Same sort of thing goes here question slide and result slide. So, question slide obviously going to prompt VVox to open that question. Result slide will show results and prompt VVox to show results on the participant app as well. I've also added in a pin on image question so as you can see here once again question slide and result slide the result slide because I've included a correct answer area has actually got that correct answer area here as well I don't recommend moving that within PowerPoint but I was just doing that to show you guys where it is on the slide but you can see that's that's where the correct answers will be given as a point if selected and then it's just a basic question of when people are using the participant app, they just need to click and put their pin where they think the arch is. So a few extra things when using the VVox PowerPoint add-in. If I was to have a few slides like this and I say wanted to add the PowerPoint polling question or the VVox polling question, sorry, into the, into the middle of these two and three slides here, what I would then do is select the slide I want the polling question to be added below and I will click add and as you can see it's added them below the slide in question that I have selected on the left hand side so once we've got our VVox polls added it's now important to get them designed the way we would like them so to do this head to design at the top here from here there is a lot of presets that you can select as you can see and these will change the way your VVox slides look. So we've got this nice green preset here which I quite the look, like the look of so I'm going to leave it like that. You also have a lot more on this drop down menu here. You can also browse for themes so if you had one that your company had made for you you would be able to then import that there. But what most companies use is Slide Master and to get here if you go to view and Slide Master there is a separate video on how to edit your slides to the way you'd like them using Slide Master. As it's a bit more complicated, I won't have time to go into that today, guys, unfortunately. But there will be links in the video description for how to 
get yourself into slide master and get yourself editing those slides to have them the way you'd like them to look so if you have any correct answers within your vbox polls you might want to have a leaderboard at the end to do this it's as simple as adding the polls was heading over to the right hand side clicking add on leaderboard preferably at the end and uh, as you can see the leaderboard has been added and from here if identified sessions are turned on people's names will appear here if not then what will appear here is just an anonymous text filler but obviously the participants will still get on their phone saying they've come first, second, third depending on where they come so clearing results you can do from within PowerPoint to do this once you've run through your PowerPoint presentation with your polls in if you head down to the bottom here and click clear results you can then just do it for the current slide or all the slides in the PowerPoint deck and then once you've done this it will reset all of the images as well as all the questions within the VBOX dashboard as well. Thanks for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and you found it helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.